If you can access the admin console for your organization, you can use our recovery form for the following situations. Number one, you're a user with an inactive admin who needs to access the admin console, admin.google.com, to manage users, payments, subscriptions, and more. Number two, you're an admin who cannot access the admin console. For example, you forgot the password for your account. If you can access the admin console, these instructions are not designed for your situation. Use the help button on the top right corner of the admin console to reach the correct support team. A user can be promoted to admin so that they can access the admin console of their organization. You'll need to be an active user and you'll need to provide a DNS record to prove domain ownership. Let's start by going to the recovery form page using the web address appearing on the screen. You will also find this link in the description of this video. On the main page, enter the domain name you're having issues with. For example, if your email address is admin at example.com, you will enter example.com. Click Look up recovery options to continue. Now, select the I am a user and I cannot contact my administrator option. Then, enter your mail address within the organization and click continue. You may need to sign in to your account. If so, click Go to sign in. Sign in with your Google Workspace credentials, enter your email address, and then click Next. Then, enter your password and click Next to complete your sign-in. If you are not redirected to the Recovery Form page after that, go back to that page and refresh it. Now, confirm the details you previously entered. If everything has been entered correctly, confirm the CAPTCHA and then click Continue. After the previous step, a support ticket number will be generated and sent to you in an email, which will also include a link to return to this page. You will then need to add a DNS record in the domain to verify your ownership of it. You can either add a CNAME record or a TXT record. Under Add a DNS record, select the option you prefer. If you need help with adding a CNAME or TXT record, or, if you don't know who your domain host is, go to the links in the description of this video for further information and assistance. After adding the CNAME or TXT record, click Check again at the bottom of the page. DNS records may take up to 24 hours to propagate. If you would like to see if the records have successfully propagated, use the links provided in the description of this video to access the DNS checker of the Google Admin Toolbox. If the records were successfully recognized, you will get a new page to submit your request. Select the option Request User Promotion and then click Submit Request. After you submit your request, a support agent might contact you if additional information is needed. The user promotion process can take at least 72 hours. If you're an admin who cannot access the admin console, you can request help to reset your password. You'll need to provide an admin email address and a DNS record to prove domain ownership. Let's start by going to the recovery form page using the web address appearing on the screen. You will also find this link in the description of this video. On the main page of the form, enter the domain name you're having issues with. For example, if your email address is admin at example.com, then your domain name would be example.com. Once entered, Click Look up Recovery Options. Now, select the option I'm a super admin and I cannot sign in. Then, enter your email address and click Continue. You'll next be asked to try the automated recovery flow for your account. To start, click Go to Recovery. Within the recovery flow, enter the email address you are trying to regain access and then click Next. If you know the password, perform a normal sign-in. If you don't know the password, click Try another way to continue with the account recovery process. Eventually, if you went through the whole automated recovery flow and exhausted all the options, you will be prompted with the option Contact Support. Click on it to be redirected back to the recovery form and continue the process. Once you are redirected back to the recovery form, 
you will need to provide a contact email address. This email address must be different from the one you are having issues with and able to receive email since the support team will contact you at the email address. Once entered, confirm the CAPTCHA and click Continue. After the previous step, a support ticket number will be generated and sent to you in an email which will also include a link to return to this page. You will then need to add a DNS record in the domain to verify the ownership of it. You can either add a CNAME record or a TXT record. Under Add a DNS record, select the option you must prefer. If you need help with adding a CNAME or TXT record, or if you don't know who your domain host is, go to the links in the description of this video for further information and assistance. After adding the CNAME or TXT record into your domain, click Check again at the bottom of the page. DNS records may take up to 24 hours to propagate. If you would like to see if the records have successfully propagated, use the links provided in the description of this video to access the DNS checker of the Google Admin Toolbox. After clicking Check again, if the records were successfully recognized, you can now submit your request. Select the option Request for Password Reset and click Submit Request. After you submit your request, a support agent might contact you if additional information is needed. For more help and additional information, check out the Recovering Administrator Access to Your Account page in the Google Workspace Admin Help Center. You will also find this link in the description of this video.